Welcome to the second part of MESCO TV. We're in the Bernese Oberland, at an elevation of about 3,000 meters. In the background, you can see the snow-capped peaks of the Eiger, Münch and Jungfrau mountains. And snow in its melted state, namely water, is what this episode is all about. So sit back and enjoy. The Trümmelbach Brook, with its glacial waterfalls, drains the huge glaciers on the Eiger, Münch and Jungfrau. Every second, more than 20,000 liters of water flow through the 10 glacier waterfalls inside the mountain. Every year, more than 25,000 tons of stream wash rocks are transported through the falls. Inside the mountain, one can immediately feel the force of nature which resides in these impressive falls. It isn't just in Switzerland that energy is a prerequisite for modern society. The great asset of the Swiss energy industry is hydroelectric power. About 440 storage and pumped storage hydroelectric power plants supply the country with renewable energy. In order for the energy, which is produced primarily in the high mountain regions, to reach the consumer, it is essential to have the right transmission and distribution grid and the relevant operating equipment in this grid is the transformer. Mountain climbing in Switzerland's alpine regions is a thrilling activity. A transformer climbing a mountain to an elevation of 2,000 meters is a challenge both for humans and machines alike. We accompany the journey of a transformer from Germany into the high mountains of Switzerland. Ja, und die Reise beginnt hier im Herzen der Oberpfalz in Regensburg. Yes, the journey begins here, right in the heart of Upper Palatine in Regensburg. Among technical experts, though, Regensburg is known as the seat of the Rheinhausen Group, the premium manufacturer of on-load tap changers and monitoring accessories for transformers. Non-experts who don't transport transformers over land every day will probably ask themselves, why would a relatively compact transformer require such a long, heavy load carrier, more precisely, a multi-axle flatbed? When heavy loads are transported, two factors are vitally important for dimensioning a heavy load carrier. First, the total weight of the load, and second, the scheduled as well as the permitted speed at which the heavy load is to be transported on the roads. That's why the number of axles, and thus the length of the flatbed, is determined by the permissible axle load and the maximum speed permitted for the respective load. In our case, we decided to add a few more axles so that we'd be allowed to travel to Switzerland at 80 kilometers per hour. But what performance specifications are hidden in our transformer, and what's the final destination? The transformer has rated power of 120 MVA, a transmission ratio from 110 kV to 20 kV, and is destined for the Lint Limon power plant, NOK's largest hydroelectric power plant in Switzerland. Quite frequently, transformers are located in regions which cannot be easily accessed every day. The precise monitoring of all the parameters and functions of a transformer, even from afar, is becoming increasingly important. Monitoring devices made by MESCO MR are installed on this transformer so that they will carry out their tasks reliably for many decades. At the MR Academy near Frankfurt, we were able to observe our technicians properly installing the MESCO MR monitoring equipment. Under the close scrutiny of our customers, a complete overhaul of the on-load tap changer, motor drive, and all measurement and monitoring equipment was carried out on the transformer. Our specialists were on site for two days prior to the user being back on the net for the next few years, if not decades. With 
the MR Academy 2007, we wanted to create a platform with which we could provide a link between theory and practice, and we managed to do so successfully. The EON transformer station here in Carbon was downright predestined to demonstrate live how such innovative products made by the Maschinenfabrik Rheinhausen Corporation as the onload tap changer monitoring unit, the tap guard 260, the maintenance free dehydrating breather from MESCO, as well as the TAPCON 260 voltage regulator can be exchanged through retrofitting. The reliable monitoring of the parameters and functions of a transformer are very important in complex applications, such as hydroelectric power plants. In Brazil, we were allowed to look behind the scenes at the world's most efficient hydroelectric power plant, Itaipu Dam. The construction of this ambitious project commenced in 1975. Up to 30,000 people contributed their share so that this structure, which is almost 200 meters high and 8 kilometers long, continues to be the world's most efficient hydroelectric power plant today. Even inside this huge structure, people just can't stop being amazed. The 18 Francis turbines generate more power than 10 modern nuclear power plants. Every second, 700 cubic meters of water flow through each giant turbine, having a rotational mass equaling 20 passenger cars. In addition to fascinating technology, one can also experience a natural spectacle of a very special kind in the immediate vicinity of this impressive power plant, the singular waterfalls of Iguazu. Our next report revolves indirectly around water as well. The first two MR Academies in the USA were held on the east and west coast. As always, MESCO MR participated as well. And as always, MESCO TV looked behind the scenes for you. We don't keep our expert knowledge a secret. In addition to our products, we also provide comprehensive technical training to our customers, for example, at the two MR Academies in the USA. This is another distinctive feature which sets the Rheinhausen Group apart from all other component manufacturers around the globe. Our services and our professional expertise are found everywhere. But our service technicians are also welcome advisors on site at our end customers. And this brings us back to our transformer, which is still on its way to the Swiss Alps. The journey of our transformer is almost over now. We have arrived at the power plant in Tierfeit, and we've almost reached the entrance to the cavern. About 1,000 meters above us is the reservoir which supplies this power plant with water. I'm curious to see what awaits us up there.